Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to design the exhaust manifold in Cartier V5. I have already designed it, but uh, that was too long and uh, without the audio, so I tried to redesign it and make it concise as much as possible with the audio included. So let's start with the design. So first of all, we'll go with the part design and sketch our first first sketch in XY plane so just select XY plane and go for a sketching and in the sketching uh, I'll, I'll just uh, make it a uh, bit faster from here so that uh, we can follow through so if you want if you want the exact design you can just uh, follow the same dimensions as I'm doing so our first sketch is ready and just exit the workbench and uh, then it's time for the next sketch which is again on the XY plane so select XY plane go for sketching and draw a similar sketch so this sketch is going to be a bit similar to the last one but uh, the process is same actually so just uh, follow the constraint systems so once your sketch is done exit it and the next sketch is going to be on the YZ plane so next is sketch is a bit different <coughs> and then the last two <coughs> just follow the sketching make sure you constrain it so that you don't get any error so once your sketch all the three sketches are done exit the workbench and then we are going to utilize the combine option which you won't get in part design so you have to go in generative shape and in generative shape you can go to wireframe and uh, go to combine and once you are in combine what you have to do is you have to select the first sketch and the third sketch so it will create a combination of those two sketches and we need one more combine here so for that second sketch and third sketch so we got two combines now we have to make a symmetry of these two combinations so we'll go to insert then go for symmetry all this is done in the generative shape only and uh, in the symmetry definition just select your combine one and combine two and uh, for the reference uh, for the reference you can give yz plane so in the reference let's give yz plane and you'll see your symmetry uh, appearing on the display so after this hide all the previous sketches that uh, 1, 2 and 3 sketch basically. So this is the profile which I needed for the exhaust manifold. Now we'll, <coughs> we'll go to XY plane and uh, we'll draw some circle to give it uh, like uh, we have the path we need the profile so we need to give a circle follow the dimensions after that uh, just change just change your uh, workbench back to part design now we have the path and the profile so we go to rib definition we'll select the profile as the circle and the curve as combine one okay now we have to do this three more times so profile circle 
center curve is combined to you'll get some warning just leave it for now and uh, similarly we can do this for rest of the profiles circle again and uh, symmetry 1 or symmetry 2 anything last rib so circle and the last curve so once you are done with the rib part uh, we have to shell it so in order to shell this just go for shell select all your endings and then give the thickness how much you want and press ok this uh, ok so now what we can do is we can select uh, this face and uh, just select this face and go for sketching and uh, we have to sketch a profile and then we are going to extrude it so it looks more fancy you know <coughs> so first of all just project the outer then make it construction and then we have to draw the profile so for the profile I'm just gonna make it uh, fast forward you can slow it down to see how it's happening or otherwise you can just pick the dimensions and you can do it in your own way <coughs> okay so once your sketch is done uh, you're gonna exit the workbench and then extrude it you can take the length as 10 and then, uh, you see one mistake I did is I ignored the circle in between so I'll just edit my sketch quickly so that we can have a clear we can have a clear inlet so all, all you have to do is you just have to select your construction line which we projected and we'll make it a uh, normal normal so just select your construction make it a normal circle so after that we'll do the same procedure to the outlet mm, with the sketch so you see this we're gonna quickly do the sketch without wasting much time you can follow the dimensions it's easy and uh, again once you are done with the sketch just extrude it to a length of 10 mm looks perfect so we have uh, the outlet done we have the inlet four inlets so one of the inlets is done we need to just uh, do it for three more inlets so you can do it individually or you can do the rectangular pattern so we gonna utilize the rectangular pattern to do this now in order to do that just select your pad of the first inlet and you have to make sure you know your spacing and uh, instances is you know three so in order to do the rectangular pattern all you need is the spacing so make sure you calculate it before doing I did it myself so just we can take the value from here
so this is how you can do the utilize the rectangular pattern option and uh, voila, that completes the design looks good also Once your part is done, you can uh, do some fillets to give it more smoothness. And select uh, these joining points or lines. And give them a fillet. And uh, this is all about the design of uh, exhaust manifold in Katia V5 I hope you guys like this video and uh, if you have any doubts make sure you comment down below also share it with your friends who are into designing and uh, we'll see you in the next video make sure you subscribe to the channel thank you so much and peace